everyone and welcome back to another video here at destination gaming where today we are playing part two of the trick challenge map now this map is showcasing a lot of different secrets and things you guys didn't know about minecraft pocket edition that's basically what the entire map is but we are going to be going ahead and playing the second part and if you haven't seen the first part the link is in the description below so please do go check that out first and give it a like and then come back and watch this one and also like this video before you guys leave but without further ado let's get into part two okay you guys so we are on challenge 13 and apparently it's raining that's kind of cruddy oh there's lightning or is it just chunks um i have no idea but challenge 13 find your way out of the room oh my goodness that's a lot of lava so in here is um arrows and bows Let's go ahead and, um, hmm, are we supposed to, like, shoot down into all the lava? Boom. I have no idea. My guess is there's, like, a pressure plate or something below the lava. But, I have no idea. Um, let's go ahead and fire that one. And, let's see, fire there. Oh, these are starting to fade, I think. Oh, come on. Let's fire there. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, that was the one. I just heard a little click and it opened. So there must have been a pressure plate or a button down below that uh, puddle of lava over there. Let's, I guess, go on to challenge 14. Lava burns. Yes, it does. So are we supposed to fire through this? No, maybe not. There, maybe. On the floor. I'm thinking that there either is water on the other side of this, or... Oh, oh, it's a minecart trick. See, this is what I was telling you guys about in the previous video. There's a minecart on the other side of the lava, and see this ride symbol pulls up when you hover over it because it recognizes it through the lava fall. So we're going to go ahead and push ride, and see, as you can see right here, we went right through that waterfall. So... Let's go ahead and break that. I guess it burned up in the lava. Oops. Okay, um, oh wait, there's this part too. Is this another one? No. I don't really know. Oh wait. Oh, oh, there's another ride. Boom. Very nice. I like how they did this map because even though I know some of these tricks, I don't know them all. So, um, I'm kind of learning some of these with you guys, and I hope you guys are enjoying these videos, because this is a really nicely done map that showcases most of the stuff in Minecraft Pocket Edition that a lot of people probably don't know. And if you want to know about more stuff just like this, then you guys can go check out iRedstone in the App Store, because it has a lot of stuff that's kind of like this, like little glitchy things or things that you can use in builds that people probably don't know how to crack. So, um, this says, you may place or break redstone components on lapis blocks. Challenge 15, complete the redstone 1. So, let's go ahead and grab these two redstone dust. And I have a lot in my inventory from the previous challenges. Um, but let's go ahead. It said we can place it on lapis blocks. So, there and there. So, let's go ahead and flip that and that. Maybe. Come on, there we go. There's a little bit of lag there, but, um, and the door opens. So how does this even work? Oh, there's gates there, and then it disables, okay. In case you guys don't get that part, um, you can do logic gates, and like I've already said, iRedstone will explain a lot of this stuff if you go and download it in the App Store. I'm not sure if they have it for Android, but you guys can check that out and see if they do. Challenge 15, complete the redstone 2. These redstone puzzles aren't really anything that's secret about Minecraft, but um, a lot of people don't know how to do logic gates all the same, so let's go ahead and flick that, and what the heck is that? There's like a bedrock slab looking thing sticking out of the top of this one. That is so weird. I honestly have no idea what that is. That must be the glitch that they're talking about, but... Yeah, I have no idea. So, there's a redstone thing there. So what happens when we flip this back off? Oh, the bedrock appears and disappears. That's really strange. Like, w watch this. Ready? Boom. 
Yeah, they switch. That's so weird. I have no idea how this one even works, so... Um, in case you guys figure it out, please comment in the description below, because I'd like to know how the heck that one works. Um, but... I don't see anything else in this room, because Lapis is the only place we're supposed to be able to play stuff, and Orange Wool as well. And there's nothing else in this chest. I have to go ahead and break the green wool, and if you guys don't know and didn't watch the first part of this video, when you break the green wool, that's actually a hint to help you get through the rest of each challenge. Now, there's 26 challenges to this map, and we are on 15, so I'm not sure there could possibly be a third part, but we'll see if we can get through it all today. So it says, flip the switch on before you place the redstone. Oh. Let's try this. Ready? Boom. And then place the redstone. I, I don't even know what just happened. What? Oh my gosh. The bedrock moves with the... Re I have no idea. Guys, I honestly have no idea how this works, but that's... Who, who comes up with this? I have no idea, but let's go ahead and go on to the next puzzle, because I am completely stumped on that one. Maybe, um, you know what? I'll try and look it up later and put a link in the description below to how that works if I find anything. Otherwise, you guys can comment in the comment section below and, um, I guess inform me on how the heck that works. But challenge 16, complete the redstone 3. Man, these challenges are not like the last one. The last one was mostly secret stuff. Um, and that bedrock was a glitch or something, um, but the first redstone one definitely was, and it was just a logic gate, so there's nothing in there. Wait, though. Oh, that's a trap chest, so... And then open that. Oh, the bedrock blocks the signal from coming. That's weird. Because if you guys watch this, here, hold on, let's flip this back off, open this quickly, and then flip that. I think that's how that works. It's like a wall that gets built up, and it keeps the redstone right there. I have no idea. Boom. Yeah, see, look at that. So if you open this uh, chest real fast, and then flick the lever, this wall of bedrock right here, like, keeps the redstone charge active in this portion of it. I... I'm completely stumped on how this works, but I have to figure this out, because that is unbelievable. See, and even when you move the wall, it just stays active here. I have no idea. So let's go on to challenge 17, complete the redstone. Oh my gosh, there's so much redstone. Three redstone repeaters. Um, oh boy, and we can place it on any of the lapis blocks. This is... Oh my goodness. Let's see, there's redstone outputs going there. Let's go ahead and just start this. Um, so I'll put one there, there, and there. Let's see if this works. Um, oh wait, we're supposed to... Oh wait, that disabled that. And then, are we supposed to... Oh wait, we're supposed to put them on in a certain order too. Oh man. So I think what we're supposed to do is... Um, Let's see, because this one over here disables that, which goes to these, and that's completely... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You know what? I have no time to try and figure out this entire puzzle. Is there green wool? Please let there be green wool. They really didn't do hints to this? Are you kidding me? Oh, no. I hope I don't have to go into creative mode. I hate going into creative mode in these maps, you guys, because I feel like I'm kind of cheating at stuff. But I honestly have no idea how we're even supposed to figure this out. And if you're a real good redstone expert and watching this, you're probably like, oh, yeah, duh, it's just you put this here and this here. But, um, I don't know. I guess go ahead and put that there. This is, like, already activated, though. So, this and this, I have, I have no idea. Guys, I'm afraid I have to break this iron door, because this is just, I have no clue. And I didn't see any green wall anywhere. Oh, there's a sign out there. What does it say? Tell me. I have no idea. I'm going to go ahead and go on to the next puzzle, because 
this this is too elaborate for even me. And I like redstone stuff. Puzzles are kind of my thing. But this this is just a mess. So let's go ahead and hop down here and I guess just wait and break through the door. I'll bring you guys back in just a second. Okay, you guys, I just got through this iron door, and we're going on to the next puzzle. I do apologize that we had to skip that one, but I I am clueless on that. And redstone stuff that elaborate is not my thing. So, challenge 18, escape the room. Um, okay, so we have a fishing rod in here. And let's go ahead and climb this. Oh, jeez, don't tell me we have to get the chicken. Oh no. Fish. Whoa. What just happened? Oh, see? Yeah, you fish that. That's so weird. Okay, fish. Come on, fish. Well, I just had a notification pop up, so in case that got cut off funny in the editing process, I didn't want that notification. Oh, 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 boom, we got him. Oh, he just hit something, didn't he? Yes, the door opened! Finally. Okay, challenge 18 is done. So on to challenge 19, but as I was just saying guys, I had a notification pull up on my screen, so I went ahead and edited that out. Um, but let's go ahead and go on to the next puzzle. So challenge 19, escape the room. Wait, that opens the door? Or is this another fishing pole one? That's my guess. So let's like go ahead and fish. Oh, and then that counts as the pressure plate, and then we can grab that, and boom. Challenge 20, lava moat. Oh, jeez. More bow and arrows. Oh, boy. So, um, the green wool is there in case we need it. Oh, wait, I think I've seen something like this. Fire there. Fire there. I almost think that you can, like... Wait, something just changed when I hit that. Oh wait, no, I just highlighted the block on the right. Um... I have no idea. And I don't want to die. You guys, I think we have to break the green wool, because I'm trying to get through as many of these puzzles and show you guys the most possible stuff in a, in, um, a day. So it's... it's uh, uh. It says hit button to see where you need to shoot the arrow. How in the heck are they going to do that? Oh, I missed. Really? You stupid arrow. Look at that. It's so close. No. Boom. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? How in the world did they manage to do that? How did they get all that? Oh, because wait, this is a dro- Oh. This is a dropper, so it just went ahead and sucked all the lava in and took it away, so then you can see where the pressure plate is. Very nicely done. Um, protecting dispensers and droppers. Uh, diamonds on left, splash potions on right. Chickens on left, zombies on right. Oh boy. It says, place ladders over the front of dispensers and droppers to prevent players from stealing all the items out of them. This works really well when you have a mod to prevent breaking blocks, especially useful when you have traps that drop mobs. So basically, if you put ladders over them, see, I can't access this. So the only way to access it is by hitting a button. And then you risk um, having a mob come out of one of the two dispensers, because I think this activates both. No? Maybe not. Chickens on left, zombies on right. Okay, so the zombie didn't come out, only the chicken did. Let's see if this works. Okay, both of those work, because you could hear the uh, splash potion hit the ground. Let's do that again. Boom. See? Yeah, it just um, had particles here. So both of these work, but the zombie must be big enough that it either got shot out of the top of this because it was forced out by um, blocks surrounding it, or it doesn't work at all. But nevertheless, this is a great way to do this because if you put ladders over it, they're not accessible to um, people that come in your world. And when you push this button right here, it will activate both. So you could have like diamonds in one, poison in another, so when they hit it, 
they accidentally get both and it might kill them before they run off with your diamonds or something like that but it's just an idea so let's go ahead and move on um wait a minute there's cake and this oh no I hope you enjoyed the map and maybe learned something new. Thanks for playing. No, this is the end. So that was, oh wait, but there's a ladder. It says map by Bishop. Um, and this is the website that you guys can go and check him out. But before this video is over, I'm going to head up this ladder and see what it is. It says head on up and take a look around. So maybe this is, whoa, unbelievable. What does this say? Trick map version 1.5 backup button. Oh, challenge one is right there. So we went all the way down and then came all the way back around to the finish. So the whole thing is one big loop. So if you guys want to go and um, replay through the map yet again, then you can go down here and hit this back up. So anyway guys, that is pretty much going to wrap up this map, and I did really enjoy playing this trick challenge map. If you guys want to check it out, the link is in the description below, and um, please do check out the first part if for some reason you decided not to before watching this part. But anyway, please leave a like if you guys did enjoy, and I really enjoyed playing this map, so hopefully there will be more maps and more MCPE in following weeks. But apart from that, please do consider subscribing to join us here at Destination Gaming for weekly gameplay videos, and I will see you guys in the next one.